Welcome to Physics Learning. This is the second lecture on fiber optics. In this video, I am going to discuss about two important property of an optical fiber, acceptance angle and numerical aperture. Acceptance angle of an optical fiber. This is very important property because this will going to tell you that a uh, limiting value of incident angle under which we have to insert the light inside the optical fiber in order to make it propagate through it how we can define it acceptance angle is nothing but maximum incidence angle of a light ray which can be used for injecting light into a optical fiber if your incident angle is greater than that, then light won't propagate inside the optical fiber. Okay, let's try to understand it from this picture. Let's say this is an optical fiber and yellow region is a core and brown region is cladding. And this is the axis of optical fiber. If your incident ray make an angle I at the interface of air and the dielectric medium, there will be a refraction and let's say the refraction angle is theta. Now as this ray goes into the optical core, it will meet at the interface of core and cladding with an angle phi and if this phi is uh, greater than critical angle, then the ray will totally internally reflected and as a result, this light will propagate through this optical core. Okay. And this is only possible when incident angle is less than acceptance angle. Okay. So when phi is greater than phi c, then light will totally internally reflected and it will move through the optical core. From this figure, what we can see that theta plus phi is equals to pi by 2. So theta and phi is related by this relation. Now assume that you have increased your angle of incident above the acceptance angle. In that case, as I will increase from Snell's law, theta will increase and as theta will increase, phi will decrease. So when angle of incident is higher than acceptance angle, then phi is less than critical angle. As a result, light won't totally internally reflect it and it will just pass through the cladding and we will lose that light. Okay. From Snell's law, as I said, that sin i by sin theta is n1 by n0. n0 is the refractive index of outside medium. n1 is the refractive index of core. So from this relation, we can easily say theta will increase with the increase in i. And thus from that relation, phi will decrease. Okay. Therefore, there must be a maximum angle exist with the axis of optical fiber above which light entered cannot propagate through the optical fiber. So this is the importance of an acceptance angle. Once we know the concept of acceptance angle, we can look for the numerical aperture that is another important characteristic. Okay. So before proceeding to numerical aperture, as the light is coming through 3D, this is a 3D object. So we can make a cone. Okay angle of the slanting line with the axis of optical fiber is ia and this is a call cone of acceptance okay now numerical aperture what is numerical aperture numerical aperture of an optical fiber is sine of half of angle of fiber light acceptance cone or we can simply say sine of angle of acceptance so what we have to find out in order to find out numerical aperture is sin i a okay so we will start with the same picture from this picture we know that phi has to be greater than critical angle in order to light propagate through the optical core now if you apply the law of refraction at the interface of core and outside medium from snell's law i can write n naught sin i is equals to n1 sin theta right now just substitute theta as pi by 2 minus phi because we know theta plus phi is equals to pi by 2. Therefore, what we can write n0 sin i is equals to n1 sin pi by 2 minus phi, which is nothing but n1 cos phi. Okay. What we have to find out? We have to find out sin i a, that is sin of acceptance angle. In that time, i is equals to i a and 
at the acceptance angle phi is critical angle that is phi c so just substitute that we will have n naught sin i a is equals to n1 cos phi c now we can further simplify it we can just write n naught sin i a is equals to n1 cos phi c and cos phi c can be replaced as root over 1 minus sin square phi c so the next question is how we can find out sin phi c and that we can do just by applying snell's law at the core cladding interface when phi which is an incident angle at the core cladding interface when incident angle is equals to the critical angle in that case refracted angle is nothing but pi by 2 right so sin i by sin r is equals to n2 by n1 i is pi c and r is pi by 2 so from snell's law and that is the condition for a critical angle sin phi c is equals to n2 upon n1 just substitute it we will get this simplified relation okay we can further simplify it we can write n naught sin i a is equals to n1 square minus n2 square whole square root okay usually outside medium is nothing but air so we can assume that n naught is approximately equals to 1 therefore the value of numerical aperture n a is equals to sin i a and that is equals to root over n1 square minus n2 square right so this is the value of numerical aperture now the question is what is the importance of this numerical aperture numerical aperture is very important property of an optical fiber it will measure the capacity of a fiber to transmit light power larger the numerical aperture more power will be transmitted through that optical fiber okay so ideally we should uh, want numerical aperture much higher okay it will also determine the efficiency of coupling from source to fiber if numerical aperture is very small then efficiency of coupling will be very less right it also determine the losses across misaligned joint so if the joints are not aligned properly then more light will be lost and that will be going to decide by numerical aperture okay so hope all these things are clear to you i will see you in the next lecture where we will discuss about the attenuation and the pulse dispersion in a optical fiber see you then thank you